farm uh, we were using this is our first time using harvest house uh, which seems pretty cool so far you just pay a membership for the year and then you're able to stay at a bunch of different places uh, for one night for free and so we're just staying at this dairy farm super cool uh, so much land out here and obviously there's dogs and cows <music> I gotta say, at this point, Harvest House, five stars. There's dogs, baby cows, big cows. Katie's stoked. And this is mine and Katie's three year anniversary. This is three years that we've been together today. It's been decided we're giving up van life a weekend and we're living on a dairy farm. So thanks everyone for following along thus far, but it's over. So. <laughs> It would actually be kind of cool because this is, cool. yeah, this is, maybe we should stay here. Drop in the comments uh, if you think we should stay here. And since I'm, I'm not working right now for like two weeks, just stay on the property and ask these people if they'll just teach me how to dairy farm. I think it'd be kind of cool, but who knows? I, I don't know anything about it. Help. They probably wouldn't want my help. I don't know what I'm doing, but an interesting thought first of all look at this unit that thing's huge and he's curly he could use some conditioner but these things are cool that one's got a, just a piece of hay hanging out of his mouth I've also got little piglets back there but they ran away and hid and they have puppies so check this out oh my gosh think they're for sale should we get one I think van life is definitely doable with a dog. We're actually thinking about getting a dog. So I don't know how a Great Pyrenees would be in a van. They get pretty big, but oh my gosh, these things are cute. Hi. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. I think Katie's sold on getting a dog. I've been sold. These ones aren't for sale, though. Maybe they wouldn't know if we just grabbed one. <laughs> We've also got these guys. Oh. They weren't ready for that. These things are huge. Oh, that's not very nice. We've just been informed that the turkeys, if you just gobble at them, give them a little, let's hear your gobble gobble. Gobble gobble. Nice. Um, gobble, that they'll gobble. actually talk back, so we're gonna go test those. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that guy. Oh, that one. Do you have a crazy gobble? Is that, is that a good gobble? Gobble gobble. That's a bunch of dogs. There's a zillion dogs in here. There we go. So one of the things with Harvest House is um, 
just as like a thank you for staying at these different places, I recommend that you buy something um, to help the help the small businesses. And this place has chocolate milk. Yeah, which is like my favorite thing ever behind ice cream. We got our goods. We got some chocolate milk and some creamer for our coffee. Maybe we'll make some whipped cream, throw it on my ice cream later tonight. And we found the baby pigs. I don't know much about pigs, but I don't know if these are little babies or just small pigs. They're gonna get scared though. Oh no, they're running away. Look at them go. Well, I am starving now, so we're gonna go ahead and make some food. Katie, how is it? A plus. Really good. It's probably the best chocolate milk I've ever JD had. JD Country Milk. You should get yourself some. That is like <laughs> melted chocolate ice it's cream. Awesome. That's good. We're celebrating tonight. One week of van life in the books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's our anniversary. And we're on a farm. You can't And it's that. Friday the 13th, which yeah, is like yeah. my favorite day. Let's see if Katie can do this. Definitely can't. Believe in yourself. Not with that attitude, you can't. can. Come on. Don't shoot it. I was going to like do this and then... Is this all you do? Yeah. Do you pull it off? Twist yeah. and pull action? I do like a twist and pull, but don't... I got it. All right, there you go. I'm scared. Do it! <gasps> oh my gosh. We've christened the new home. There we go. <laughs> well, our shrimp might have some champagne on them. Just adds flavor though. Exactly. Our host let us walk in and like watch them go through the whole milking process. And this massive tank is where all the milk goes to. So that's really crazy. Oh. found out that these dogs' names are, this is Linda, <laughs> who's a great Pyrenees. Hi, Linda. And this is Oreo, who's a border cow. Such sweet dogs. They're so cute. Champagne in our coffee cups. Let's get it. For dinner, we're having some melted brie cheese with some bread, some peach jalapeno jam. Well, YouTube world, we are turning it in for the night. Uh, we finished up dinner and we also made some cookies. We got a movie set up on the iPad. Check this out. Oh, and we made our own whipped cream from the creamer that we bought. Yeah. So it's really good. We sweetened it with strawberry honeysuckle honey. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't make it. So. so it's really yummy. Nice. Well, thank you for continuing to follow along. Uh, Harvest Host, five out of five. Also, J and D. J and R. What is this place? J D Milk Farm. JD Milk Farm, also five out of five. Tons of animals. Literally awesome place. All the animals. So thanks for following along and we'll talk to you guys later.